Hey everyone, I'm Landon with LMR.com. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the 2018 Mustang GT intake manifold and how it can be a great budget-friendly performance upgrade for 2011 to 2014 five liter Mustangs. The intake manifold from the 2018 Mustang GT quickly grew in popularity whenever the 2018 Mustang was released because of its increase in airflow and high revving capability. Also, not to mention the price tag when comparing the 18 Mustang GT manifold to other more expensive manifold offerings in the category. Now, for the sake of this video, we are going to be talking about a factory, quote unquote, out of the box 18 manifold, which means no port work has been performed. To keep things nice and simple, we are lucky to have a bone stock, untouched 2011 GT, which we are going to use as our benchmark. We recently ran across this car through mutual friends and figured it was a good car to have in our arsenal. It only has 80,000 miles and is a one owner car. There are no bells and whistles with this one as it's a base model MT82 car with 331 rear gears. Yes, we are completely aware that there are several other modifications that we can do to this car and there are a few fixes that need to take place. But hey, like anything, we'll get to them as time allows. So with any performance modification, a baseline dyno is always priority number one before you start tearing into things. So with that being said, our newly acquired 2011 GT is strapped down to the dyno and ready to make a hit. Our baseline numbers are as follows, 356 horsepower at 6,000 RPM and 372 foot-pounds of torque at 4,300 RPM. Like any 2011 to 2014 Coyote, those numbers are pretty much average. Just to clear the air, the baseline dyno pool was made in fifth gear, which is the one-to-one -one ratio for the 2011 MT82s, and the gas tank did have 93 octane fuel. Now I'm going to install the 18 manifold as well as flash the PCM with our Lund Racing Tune and Engage Tuner. All right, with the 2018 manifold on the car, as well as our Lund Racing Tune, it's time to turn the rollers one more time and take a look at the results. But before we do that, just a reminder, the only two things that were changed was the manifold and the Lund Tune. Everything else stayed the same. All right, so let's take a look at some results. With the 2018 Manifold and the Lund Racing Tune, our 2011 GT made 376 horsepower at 6,600 RPM and 364 foot-pounds of torque at 4,600 RPM. Whenever you compare that to the baseline numbers, peak gains were 20 horsepower, but there was just a slight drop in peak torque, which was only eight foot-pounds. However, if we take a closer look at the graph, there is an increase of nearly 50 foot-pounds of torque at 2300 RPM, which is pretty darn good. Now, some of that download torque is probably helped with the Lund Tune, but regardless, 50 foot-pounds is pretty impressive. For those of you wondering, the increase in torque down low is what gives you that seat of the pants feel, which is probably something you have heard me talk about in other videos. Overall, this is a solid start to the car and we will definitely add to it in future videos. With that being said, be sure you guys drop us a comment and let us know what you would like to see next on our 2011 GT. Of course, for the most current product information, pricing, and availability on anything you may have seen in the video, be sure and reference LMR.com. To see more how-to and review videos covering industry-leading products, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like and share this video with your friends, and don't forget to turn on notifications. While you're at it, check out our other videos, and for all things 1979 to present Mustang and SVT Lighting, keep it right here with the real enthusiasts, LMR.com.